this is Jamie Magrich. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. It's really pretty simple. It's just using die cuts. There's no stamping involved today. And it's very minimal cardstock. I have a card base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. I have a scrap of crushed curry, a scrap of polished pink, a scrap of old olive, a four by five and a quarter inch piece of soft sea foam, and a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of black. Okay, I've already cut out all of the pieces, um, just so you, just to save a little bit of time. But let's show what I'm going to be using. These are the stylish shape dies. I've taken the two largest squares and out of the black I've cut myself a little frame okay so I've got that the two largest ones and you just layer them together and then cut them all at once you can cut them right out of the center of that layer of black okay this one is from the chic dies this one here and I've cut that out of white, and so you'll also need a scrap of white. Okay, go ahead and put this away so we don't lose it. All right, then from the pierced bloom styes, I've got these two flowers here. Those are cut out of the polished pink. This little one, which is all three together, and this one here, which is two together. I cut out of the crushed curry, so you'll see you really need a very tiny piece. Um, there's actually three leaves. I've used the middle one, and, or there's four leaves. There's two fat ones and two skinny ones, so I've used the two skinny ones. Um, I cut one of the larger ones and two of the smaller ones, and then two of the stem, and that's out of the old olive, Okay. So let's get started here assembling this card. These pieces are all scrapped because I already cut those out. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and adhere this black layer to the front of my card base. And I'm just going to use my Tomo. And this layer is going to get centered on the front of that. Put that side down. So there's something on there. I think it's glue, but. Right centered in the center of that. Okay, now I'm also going to need some. Um, dimensionals, a pair of snips, and I'm going to use these matte black dots. So what I'm going to do is on the edge, there's this thicker part, I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to cut a little strip of that. frame. I'm going to do a couple of them. A little bit longer. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to take my frame and on the back of it, I'm going to go ahead and put this edge dimensional. What I have on my finger. 
sort of ink of some sort. I'm going to bring in this piece and I'm going to put it through the front and then it's going to get adhered to the back. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in a couple spots here where I know it's going to attach to the frame. Just a little bit. A little over here. fumble fingers today until I haven't done a video in a couple weeks okay I would do the same on the back but I think I'm just going to pull this back layer off and let it stick to the tape okay and take the backs off the other two. I want to put this on here cattywampused, or maybe I'll do this one straight. Let's do this one straight so you can see the difference. Mount that to the top of my card like that. Okay, these in the garbage. Okay, now I'm going to bring in these and these. I'm going to put a little glue on the back of the so saffron piece, or excuse me, crushed curry piece, and put that in the center of the flowers. Okay, then I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of those. Hold on, buddy. Mama's doing a video. I'm going to add a stem, just a little tiny bit of glue to the back, to the top. Stick that on. Actually, probably should have done it before I put the dimensional on. I'll just lift that up, put the dimensional back down. Same for this one. Okay. So now these flowers on. One to go here. One to go next to it. I'm going to put this stem on the wrong way, but that's all right. That'll work. Okay. I know those are on. It helps if I take the back off. Okay, then I'm going to bring in those leaves and I'm going to take the one big one and I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of it down towards the base. And I'm going to put it down here. It's going to help hold those stems on. I'm bring my snips in. I'm going to snip the bottom off of this one. Take one of the smaller leaves. Some glue on the back, put one down here, glue on the back of this one, and put one up here, 
Where do I want this one today? Okay. I'm going to take these little tiny yellow ones. Dab a glue on the back. I'm going to scatter those. They're also going to help hold the bottom of these stems down. Oops. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that then. Okay. I have a nice bow here that I tied from a black and white gingham ribbon. It's going to get it here down as well. Let's see. I don't think it's going to work down here this time. I think I'll put it here. No, I don't like that. I think I need to move something up. Let's move that up. Let's see if we can get this off without ripping our card. If I can, I'll move it up. Okay, now let's come in with those matte black dots. And I'm going to put small ones in these little flowers. big ones and these other two. Make sure they're stuck well. Well, there you go. There's a card we just made together. This one I did square instead of cattywampus. Here's the one I did previous. You can see the slight bit of difference there. Well, thank you so much for joining me today at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you can find a little bit of time to play with some stamps, ink, or paper. Which one do you like better? I like them both. They're kind of, kind of fun. Well, have a great day, everybody. Bye.